So I'm going to go to um, the poem that Candace mentioned. I want to make sure I do it. Um, this is Sleeping With Books. It's for people like probably everybody here. I um, generally fall asleep with a mountain of books all around me. And I used to live in the West End with really thin walls in between. I didn't know that my apartment was actually the bedroom for the apartment next door. There's no soundproofing in between. So I'm embedded like going, yes, 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 yes. And I'm underlining things in my text. <laughs> yeah, but the neighbors must be overhearing me reading. I didn't know for a long time they could hear until I heard all their conversations through the wall. I'm like, oh my god, they hear me reading at night. <laughs> this is for David you didn't Donald. use the glass, did you? <laughs> So this is Sleeping With Books, and I dedicate it to David and Donald who got to hear me sleeping with books. <laughs> um, inhaling the exhilarating bouquet of new print by the golden glow of the reading lamp, I taste little pieces of prose, then fall all the way in, comforted in the texture of pages, soft as sun-warmed Belinda's dream roses, inviting the inscription of Freeber's rhythms in the sleeve. Highlighters and ink stars bleed wildflowers across aqua-colored Egyptian cotton sheets. Water lilies blossom in a sapphire satin blanket. Spirals of petals and sepals arising like northern lights over Greenland. Sipping jasmine tea in bed with my books, my soul unto itself. I speak aloud my deepest revelations of passion and awe, how much I love the home they are to me.